Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to update and back up your iPhone. So from your iPhone right here, we can go into settings. Of course, we can go all the way down to general. And from there, we're going to see the second option, software update. And we're going to see the latest update, download and install. During download process, it doesn't matter if your iPhone turns off, for example, but during the installation, it does matter. So make sure you guys have at least 50% of your battery and always have it hooked up to some electricity, even if you're at 100%. Now, before doing that, I usually tell you guys to go back, go into your iCloud, which is up here where your name's at, and just manually make that iCloud backup. However, now with Apple, it's almost impossible to do that because you only have five gigs and that gets full really, really fast. So instead of doing that, guys, instead of updating right here from your iPhone, iPad of Touch, I want you guys to make an, a backup right here on iTunes. So what's iTunes? iTunes, it's down here below. So let me just zoom in. That's iTunes. iTunes, it's free for both Mac and PC. So if you guys have a PC Windows computer, Yes, iTunes is compatible, so you guys can run that program. You guys can download it for free in Apple.com. Once you guys have iTunes up and running, up here on the left-hand side, you guys will see this icon. You guys will see your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch right here. So the shape's a little bit different, but you guys will see that tiny button. So just click on there. Once you guys click there, you guys will see this page, okay? From here, you guys can back up. And you guys can also update your iPhone, iPad of Touch. What I'm gonna do is zoom in a little bit. And from here, we're gonna pick this computer. So no longer to iCloud, this computer. That doesn't mean that you're gonna stop your iCloud or you're deleting your iCloud backup. You guys can just go back to your phone later on or from here, change it up to iCloud again and make whatever backup you guys want on iCloud as well. So for now, we're just gonna change it to your computer. Don't worry about iCloud, it's all good. And now you guys can just press on backup now. Later on, we're going to press on check for update and then it's going to update to the latest version. So first of all, like I said, back up now. Once you guys press back up now, it's going to take a little bit of time. You guys will see that it's done once it gives you the option to back up now again. Right now it's grayed out. That means you guys can't click on it because it's doing the process. This might take a little bit of time. It depends how much files you guys got on your iPhone and how fast your computer is. So look at it for maybe 10 minutes. Uh, for some of you with bigger storage, maybe 30 minutes. Once that's done, we can just click on check for update. Once again, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and here's check for update. Let's just click right there. And we're gonna see that this is the latest update. So 12.2, all right, so we're updating from 12.1.4 to 12.2, which is the latest one. It's not a humongous update, however, it is kind of big, so that's why we needed to make this backup for sure. And like I said, the backup here is really cool because you guys don't have to worry about the actual five gig limit that you guys have on iCloud. Here, there is no limit. The limit really is whatever space you guys have on your computer. So we're gonna click on download and update right away. Once we do that, we should see this. Just click on next, just click on agree. And on your phone, you guys should see a passcode message. So just put in your passcode on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. All right, guys, so at this point, you guys should see this up here. All right, so it should say updating iPhone software once it's done downloading. And your iPhone, whether it's an iPhone, iPad, it's gonna say that up there. And your screen will go white, Apple logo, and a loading bar. Once the loading bar is done, then it's gonna reset, and you're all done with the update. All right, guys, so once you see that update, it's done on your iPhone, iPad or Touch, you guys will see that it will ask you for your passcode. Not your iCloud, nothing like that, just your passcode if you guys have one, and then just get in. That's it. It's not gonna ask you for your iCloud again, nothing like that. It's gonna take you approximately five to 10 minutes, depending on your internet speed really, and how fast your iPhone, iPad or Touch is. If they're older generations, they tend to take a little bit longer, but it's pretty fast. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.